Okay, the off the fishing crew are going to head down to Cottesloe Groin and uh, just see what they're catching down here this evening, Sunday evening. Got a few people fishing down here. They have been getting a few sharks uh, ballooning out into the uh, into the channel in the evenings. Even if they uh, they don't catch anything, it's still quite pic picturesque anyway. Always a nice scene down here. The true love there, arm in arm after all those years. Very flat, very calm. A couple of people out swimming. Uh, overcast evening, the sun's just going down. I don't think I'll be out there swimming right now. But for all you viewers around the world, this is just this is where we live, and it's what I call a little taste of paradise. Beautiful, soft beach sand, beautiful crystal water, fantastic surf club. Uh, change room area and top restaurants. And a, and a groin or pier to go fishing off and catch fish with a bit of luck. And a sunset to, to die for. Let's go see what they're getting. Helicopter up there, they normally spot sharks and, and whatnot during the day. They're actually employed now to, to uh, spot sharks while people are, are swimming and surfing because there's been so many shark attacks along our West Australian coast. Stand-up paddle border, a kayaker, Looks like he might be winding something in. No, it's 
just these rig. There's a chopper going past and the plane. Planes and, and choppers, helicopters meeting at the same time. Incredible. place to go fishing even if you catch nothing. We're into uh, into May now so into May summer's over and still people out fishing out uh, swimming. You've got the uh, the pubs across the road if you want to, want to go and have a Sunday session. Pretty popular here in, in Perth. All, all we need now is a fish. that for amazing sunset. I think that's 
that's what they call uh, sunset fishing off Cottesloe Green. about now is when the, the fish normally strike. Of course, having the, the sunset in the west is uh, the added bonus. A lot of, a lot of parts, places in the world don't see the, the sun setting. Got all the uh, export ships out here. They just sit off the, the port of Fremantle and uh, in between loading and unloading. Oh my goodness, check this out. This guy's got his he's got his dog on the paddle board. dog on the paddle board. Man. Can you guys believe this? where the channel, where the sharks are when they come ballooning down here at night for sharks look on earth where that guy is he's got his dog on the board it's unbelievable the guy's got his dog on the board he's got his dog on the paddle board and he's paddling past the channel where the sharks sit at sunset. I've seen crazy, but that guy's a lunatic. Who said Australians aren't crazy? Because that guy is. Dog's gone for a surf. It's unbelievable.
provide this little bit of entertainment when there's no fish biting. That's the funniest thing I've seen in years. <laughs> better than watching a fish being wound in. Maybe if we can get him in the background you can see how far he's travelled in just a couple of minutes with the, uh, with the breeze and the current. The northerly current taking him that way. He's almost hit North Cottesloe Beach already. Just a couple of minutes. I guess it shows you how people can get swept out the sea pretty quickly if they get, get caught into a into a rip. We live in the best part of the world. I think so, yeah. Can't stay out there, sir, out there in the ocean. Sunset Paradise, folks.
Hey, Paul, your viewers around the globe have uh, loved the footage of the uh, the dog surfing past the uh, the end of the fishing platform with the guy on his paddleboard straight through the shark channel but where they've been coming down here catching sharks. We got footage of a bronze bronze whaler on being caught off there just a few weeks ago. I'll put that footage up so you guys can see it.